What's the biggest thing you've learned so far in your four years of college ball? Uh, biggest thing I've learned in my four years of college ball is just taking it, you know, one day at a time. Um, you know, every single day, it's a new opportunity. You know, you learn something every single day at practice that, you know, you need to work on. Um, not trying to fix too many things at one time, focus on one thing, you know, get that done, then move on to the next thing. What went into the, the decision to, to transfer to Oregon? Um, so obviously <clears throat> I entered the portal right after our season had ended at USF. Uh, we'd played up here for a couple games um, right after our conference play started. And, you know, I really knew that this place was something special. You know, I've been, I'd been keeping track of them. Um, and I knew that Waz and Angier and his staff, you know, really putting something together. And then, you know, they were one of the first schools to reach out to me. I knew it was a fit right then and there. You've gone through an opening day a few times. What emotions are you experiencing right now that are similar to years past? and? Any that are different? Uh, I mean, I'm excited to get going. Uh, it's been, you know, very long time since I've played anyone else besides uh, us in scrimmages. Um, I'm excited to go out there and compete, honestly. You know, that's really the only thing I'm feeling right now. Have you been used in scrimmages primarily as like a pseudo closer? Is that the role you anticipate going forward here? Yeah, I anticipate that, at least for the start of this season. What are the conversations like with Waz or with Angier about, about being the closer? Just why do they why do they think that you're the best guy for that position? Just believe my mentality and then, you know, how I've been able to handle it in scrimmages, you know, and in the past, um, you know, at last year at USF, really finding that role mm -hmm. and then being able to excel at that um, and being able to prove that here throughout the fall and our spring scrimmages so far. You know, there hasn't been, you know, too much in depth, just, you know, hey, keep going out there doing your thing. Is that mentality something you always had or that you kind of has it evolved as you've grown into that role? Definitely something that's evolved as I've grown into it. Uh, I, my role shifted around for my first few years at USF, you know, starter, you know, just middle inning bullpen guy, and then uh, piggyback starter in my third year there. Then that summer 2021, that's when I really, you know, found that mentality uh, and, you know, that role fit me. How about Coach Angier? What's your relationship been like with him? How have you two meshed so far in your first off season here? I think we've meshed really well. We got a similar, you know, thought process mentality, you know, no, you know, no cookie cutter, you know, straight to the point, um, you know, no details, you know, spared or anything. And, you know, we've been able to be pretty honest and upfront with one another. So I think we've got along pretty well. How about your last year at USF? You know, you take a pretty noticeable jump from your first three years in terms of your ERA. What changed in that last year? Were there any tweaks you made or improvements you made to get there? Um, I'll take it back to that summer. I think that's where it started. You know, just the, you know, new mentality of, you know, just not caring about anything else, going out there, attacking every single hitter the same, uh, not worrying about the situation and, you know, letting my actions you know, play for themselves, taking that into the season, even with all the distractions that went on there, you know, it's, you know, hey, like no one else is going to care about what's going on with you. It's you just got to go out there and still compete no matter what. There's some youth on this staff, you know, starting and relieving. What what kind of help can you have you been to those guys Are guys looking to you at all as a veteran to, to kind of give them an idea of what they're about to get into? Yeah, I, I believe so. Um, these these young guys, at least through my now, you know, coming up on this full fifth year, they're very, very mature for such a young group. Um, I know guys like, you know, Grabman, Pace, and Leo Yulman, you know, they've got, you know, seems like they've been doing this for two or three years now with how they've gone out and thrown the ball, especially, you know, in these past few weeks. Um, and, you know, if they have had anything, you know, they haven't been afraid to come up to me and I've been you know, more than happy to go help them out. I think we have a really talented young squad that we got. And, you know, even with, you know, some of the stuff that's happened, I think we're still going to go out there and, you know, throw the ball really, really well, you know, give our offense a chance to put up a ton of runs and not have to worry about a ton. Historically, closers have a very specific warm-up song that they go out to. Have you picked one yet this year? Yeah, this year I have a moment by Lil Wayne. This is my walkout song.